with clash of the castle happening this weekend um i gotta roll out some predictions for y'all but with that being said i gotta get with somebody else to get these predictions going so with that being said you guys will know who my guest is if you already know based off the title and thumbnail you already know if you don't you're sleeping under a rock if you want to go on ahead and let the folks know who who you are from my side right. of perspective so, here we so go did, like an intro okay yeah, yeah. um hi guys i'm a uh, main event trey i um am uh trying to grow it a grow a youtube account here on uh youtube um i post a lot of uh prediction videos and reviews and um also some like gaming content that was edited from my twitch streams i twitch i stream at uh twitch.tv slash main event trey um pretty much daily um and yeah i uh really on this grind i'm a big member of this iwc here i'm pretty sure the majority of you would probably know who i am so yeah yeah so you got me myself you guys already know who i am we got main event trey here and we about to throw out some predictions for clash at the castle man Ooh. it's it's this weekend if you're if you look look let me tell y'all right now if you're not excited for it you're gonna be excited for it because i'm putting my title on the line too damn it you know what i'm putting my title on the line too may he's putting well. his title on the line i may as well put my title on the line so anybody out there in the comment section down below or on trey's channel or on my channel want to duke it out with me for this title you know where to find us you know where to find me oh i like the challenge i like the challenge yeah gotta throw out the challenge man but yeah what dude speaking of clash of the castle this card is looking stacked it is stacked it's way too stacked like i don't know how to like i don't even know how to put it in like to words of how stacked this card is like what what, what do you want to start with first uh, honestly I, I feel like i feel like the the match that i want to start with first is uh the triple threat tag match for the women's tag titles Ooh. People love the match that i think is going to start the show so i feel like maybe we could start the the, the video off with it you know yeah now uh what do you have like any like early thoughts here Anything? so early thoughts what i have with opening the show with the women's tag team match the triple threat between Jake Cargill and Bianca Belair, Shayna Baszler and um, Zoe Stark, and then the unholy union of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. Ooh. Let me tell you something. Jade and Bianca have been looking dominant for the past, well, from when they got those belts in France at Backlash up until now, they've been dominant. Thoroughly Definitely. dominant the entire time. Definitely. But I feel like they're not going to lose the titles. It's going to be a lot of false finishes, but I don't think they're gonna lose the titles at Clash. I don't feel like it. I feel like they're saving that for around when it gets close to like either like Survivor Series or getting close. Oh, you to think Mania. they might hold it till Survivor Series? I really? think they'll hold it till Survivor Series because they hold it till Survivor Series. Excuse me. I think that's when it'll happen. They'll split, they'll break, and then they'll have their the other moment where they duke it out against each other. And they'll have their match at WrestleMania and then end it off on that note and go from there. That's what I think. I actually, I actually don't hate that. I don't hate that. But I, I, won't, I won't lie to you. Um, my prediction is actually the same. I don't really necessarily see uh, them dropping it this early. I mean, it only has been like, what, they've won it in, what, May 4th, right? That was yeah, the it was like was. May. It's only yeah, been but... a month and a half. And, um, you know this title reign like they're dominant champions i don't necessarily see them losing it the only way i do see them losing it is if maybe like alba fire isla dawn like roll up baszler or stark but like i don't think it's gonna happen i i think that bianca and jade are at least at least gonna hold it till SummerSlam for me but i mean we'll have to see what happens but i mean they're probably gonna have to be on the card no matter what oh yeah so. that match should definitely is already of course gonna be on the card no if ands or buts but you know, my prediction and Trey's prediction are both just easily at the exact same point between, you know, Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill. I mean, what more can you say about them? Yeah, what no, more if can you, you say if, about it? If you needed to put your whole mortgage on it, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the people you're going with. You have to just go with the safe option here. Yeah, so that's definitely. the only safe option you can go with at this point. But the next match I want to throw out there and talk about right. for my prediction I want to talk about the Sami Zayn and Chad Gable match for the Intercontinental Championship belt because let me tell you. This feud, dude. <laughs> that feud, the setup, 
everything for it has been out of hand between you got otis already having so many conniption like so many just issues in mind games being played from chad and the rest of alpha academy and then sammy's trying to pull otis and be like you can't stay with him you gotta leave him so i feel like there's gonna be a some form of interference but I, there's I, no way that nothing something doesn't happen right like no this way. isn't gonna be a clean loss on either side like right somebody's gonna get involved has to whether otis helps chad or otis finally does the turn um i don't do you want to throw your prediction out or see i'm gonna throw out there i feel like what may happen is that it's definitely gonna be it's gonna be some kind of like interference but i feel like chad might pick up the win here because oh. I, I, as, mu as much as i love Sami Zayn, i love him he's he has been like in like he's like in my top like i'll say like if i had a top 15 top 20 list he's in my top 20. Oh, but definitely. but the thing is Sami Zayn needs to start getting himself into the main like main title picture as much definitely. as wwe wants to stick him in the mid card section yeah it was great that he beat gunther but gunther's about to potentially either face whoever wins the world heavyweight championship at SummerSlam. so they right. need to start getting Sami Zayn into these feuds for the world heavyweight championship belt at this point honestly they need to and it's just a no-brainer so i feel like chad's gonna take the title and then they may have some form of a rematch at uh i i probably either well probably SummerSlam yeah. or bash in mm -hmm. berlin one of those two i definitely see uh a good chance of sammy losing here i personally really do want to see sammy lose um i love sammy Zayn. i've loved sammy Zayn for years now and um he's obviously one of the most over characters in the whole entire business right now but um, I feel like this is Chad's time. If he loses this, and I don't, I, I'm being so serious. If Chad loses this, there's no possible way he gets back. There's no way. He's got a shot. He had a shot at King and Queen of the Ring. He had a shot on Raw, you know, and he, know, had, he a had a shot, shot in the Gunther. gauntlet match. Exactly. He had a shot against Gunther. If he can't win this title, he's never winning it. He also, I mean, the talks haven't been 100%, but I've heard that he's pretty much basically guaranteed to re-sign with the, with the company um and so i feel like they're gonna give him the title here and uh sammy sammy zane's gonna move on to maybe trying to win the money in the bank um at in toronto so oh, i forgot about money in the bank Ooh, yeah i forgot about that if he if he does opt to join them if he does lose the title that is a good opportunity for him to win money in the bank honestly yeah. but we both got chad in this situation and that puts him in the main event picture too yeah like you were saying. and that does but you know at the end of the day we both got sammy losing we got chad winning this and coming out coming out of the gate with this but with that being said we're gonna move on to the next match on this card and that's bailey versus piper niven now i feel like it, it, it's just it's just a it's an easy obvious choice that it's definitely gonna be bailey retaining there's no way bailey loses the title this early on she oh, just yeah, definitely not. Th there's no way she loses this early on especially to piper nevin and yeah. i mean no disrespect no disrespect, no disrespect. zero zero disrespect. she's looked she's looked great i will give her that she has looked amazing within the within these last couple of weeks they've been building her up pretty well but i mean if you would have told me and i said this on my stream the other day if you would have told me five months ago that piper niven was going to be challenging bailey for the world for the wwe women's championship and mm -hmm. uh, and a ple i would have been like are you serious like i would not have believed you right you know what i mean and it's just like insane to think like that there's a possibility that she could be the one to dethrone bailey when there's a possibility of like maybe a charlotte return or you know a good feud with i mean i feel like they could still try to put over tiffany eventually you know what i mean um i don't necessarily feel like it's piper nevin that gets it for sure mm -hmm. so i feel like honestly if you like i do agree with you if you told me like from at the end of when bailey got won the championship beo sad face um real won the title and then y'all told me if anyone told me this said okay next couple months piper niven's gonna challenge bailey for the women's uh championship i would have been like wait what yeah i would have i would have sat there but like somebody else on the roster can easily get that title honestly like Definitely. you said tiffany is a tiffany is a good option 
Uh, Naomi could have been a really good option as well, too. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't even think about Naya, who's like literally well, got a title opportunity. Well, yeah, Naya, Naya has a title opportunity, but they're trying to save that for SummerSlam because who knows who may come back at SummerSlam, but we'll save that for a different time. But Definitely. we both got Bailey winning this, honestly. Oh yeah, no doubt. But as, as as much as as much as a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Piper should win. Nah, it's just it's just an easy no brainer. It's Bailey coming out on top with this. Both me and Trey have this in the bag, honestly. So with that being said, we gonna move on to the. Before we move on, I want to say oh, something. Go for it. Uh, so three of these matches have scott scottish wrestlers in it right yeah and so far we have not picked a single scottish wrestler we have not championship. we haven't but but let's not talk about scottish people first let's talk about Rhodes versus styles yeah we're gonna talk about Rhodes versus styles <laughs> all right Man, let's talk about Rhodes versus styles let me tell you let me tell you this when i saw when i sat there and watched smackdown and i was i was there I, I like I was there at I was there at the Louisville show and then I watched of course the fake retirement speech come on WWE we see the pastel suit all that the whole nine yards same iteration sorry. all the whole <laughs> hey it's in my sorry, name sorry. it's in my name <laughs> it's in my name <laughs> yeah it's his name I had a, I had a Easter egg uh, right but, wink at the camera but the thing is is that at the end of the day, we know Cody's going to win, and it's an I quit match. AJ only has so much time left in his career to potentially get another title shot, to do anything else. Honestly, personally, for me, if I was AJ, I would pull out any and all stops to try and beat Cody in an I quit yeah. match. But oh, yeah. at the end no of the rules. day, no, it's no rules. So Gallows and this Anderson could... Gonna... Gallows and Anderson is going to show up and start beating up Cody, putting him through tables. It's they're going to go they're just going to be fighting all over Scotland at this point. Oh yeah, that's going to be a banger. I feel like Co well, not feel like I know it. Cody's just going to retain and he's going to win. And then I feel like when Cody wins that belt, it's they're going to move on to either him, Cody and Randy and then that turns into something else, or it's going to be Cody versus Solo at SummerSlam, which could potentially bring in um, a certain someone to come back to force him to come back. And, and wink, 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 wink. We know who it is. <laughs> I already acknowledge him when he comes back. <laughs> no offense or buts, but Cody's got the dub on this. Trey, what's your thoughts? Uh, I feel like it's easily the most predictable match of the night when it comes to just. You know, if you know Ball, if you know what WWE is like, I mean, Cody's the most over babyface we've seen since John Cena. Um, and if you want to say Roman Reigns, but most over babyface since John Cena. He's super Cody right now. Um, he just won the title in the main event of WrestleMania 40. And I mean, he's not dropping it to AJ Styles. It's going to be a really good match. It's going to be, I mean, they just put a five star banger at Backlash. They might put on a six star here. So, I mean, we'll have to see. But Cody's going to retain. It's kind of just, especially with the whole I quit um part of it all just like kind of just giving it away like there's no baby face that ever really just says i quit so mm -mm. yeah no i definitely do see cody winning here um this also like i'm kind of scared because like if aj says i quit this might be like him like you know metaphorically quitting the wwe as well um so this might be his like genuine last match so i hope he gets goes out strong but if, if this is his last yeah. match but yeah cody's winning yeah, I honestly, if 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 AJ does lose, I hope it's going out strong and not going out like sad. Like I hope it's just a strong fought out match. And at the end of the day, whatever AJ does at after this I quit match, I hope he stays and tries to win money in the bank at least. But if not, I feel like he's gonna probably shoot a shot. Uh quote quote to try and fight nick aldis because some people have been speculating that he should fight nick aldis at SummerSlam in a match but you know that's just speculations that would that would, that would be good too that'd be good that's mm. just speculations but we both got cody winning this and we're moving on to the main event hopefully the main event hopefully oh, man, the main event main. fingers if this crossed main event. fingers crossed hopefully the main event and that's 
Damian Priest versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Trey? Judgment, Judgment Day bar from ringside. Yes, I forgot about that. Oh. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. But well, you know who isn't barred from ringside? <laughs> <laughs> the um um the man himself, CM Punk. I have his the jacket. Man, the man himself. <laughs> I have his jacket, by the way. Just what's funny about it? I have his jacket. Do you really? I ha I have a CM Punk jacket. Seriously. Um, okay. So let's talk about this match real quick. Um, like I said earlier, I hinted at this. My whole thought process on this. There has not been, we have not at least picked a Scottish wrestler to win yet. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like it definitely wouldn't be a horrible idea to give Drew the title. I feel like Drew has earned it, obviously. He just re-signed with the company. He, um, you know, everybody's like, oh, you got to give Drew his flowers, give Drew his flowers. But I think it's almost become, like, better to, like, screw him over. I mean, he his whole gimmick is how he complains about how he's been screwed over at screwed screwed over out of every single like thing that's happened to him over the last three years or so. Right. And um, no, I definitely might see. I think the most obvious choice is to see Punk uh, interfere here, and Damian will win. Um, but I, I the match is unpredictable. I'm not gonna lie, because yeah, that could happen. But at the same time, like maybe they'll just like Drew will just win cleanly and like finally win that title. Um, but my pick is Damian Priest. I definitely feel like he is gonna just win after a Punk interference. Um, but if it was just clean one on one, I would have Drew. But like with the, everything with Punk, there's no way that they don't go somewhere with that. But we haven't also we we haven't seen Punk in like a month, so there's and that, that. And that's true. So honestly, look, I I agree on the whole CM Punk thing. But I feel like you got – look, my pick is Drew. You have to give this to Drew. You can't pull – you cannot pull a Cody Rhodes two times in a row for this man, Drew McIntyre. When you look back when he fought Roman the first – when he fought Roman at Clash of the Castle when they were in, um, when they were in Wales the first time, Drew lost, but that was because of a Solo Sokoa interference. Now – he got in in his home country of Scotland. CM Punk is going to somehow show up and try to screw Drew over. But his home city, too. And exactly. Glasgow. Exactly. And Glasgow. Exactly. Like, you can't screw this up. If you guys, if WWE, look, look me in my eyes. If you screw this up, you're going to have a lot of angry people uh, after that show. You're going to have a lot of angry people after that show. Because, I mean, there's a reason he tweeted. Uh, that one picture of John Cena walking into um, uh, the ECW one night stand, and it was like Drew McIntyre without the, I mean, Damian Priest without the aura, right? Right. Like, I mean, Drew is going to be so over. <laughs> like, He's going to be like, so over. And if, he, if Drew wins, that sets up him versus Gunther at SummerSlam, but also too, you gotta add one more guy to that picture. Not CM Punk, that's um Sheamus. Cause Sheamus said he wants to try and win money in the bank so he can go after so he can try and get another world title shot. In which that means could Sheamus potentially be declaring himself for money in the bank to try and contend with Drew. Who knows? But at the end of the day Drew McIntyre needs this. He deserves the win. He busts his ass every single day of the week. He had a phenomenal match against Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. He did. And he, he deserves this. He is the guy that should be the top guy on Monday Night Raw as your world champion until Seth Rollins comes back. I have a question. All right. If Priest does win, where do they go with him after this? Because I, I see nothing. Ooh, you know that's where they... That's, that's hold on, hold on, too. hold on, hold on. You know where I think they go with this if Priest does win? The man who never lost his universal title ever. Who never lost his belt ever in the world. That a man, feud with Finn? Give him a feud with Finn. That's what you do. You give him a feud with Finn, and you put it at... You put Damian Priest versus Finn Balor at money in the bank because the seeds are being planted slowly every single time each week on monday they're slowly planting the seeds to potentially have a breakup for a sure. breakup for all of them 
for who's baby all face? of them. Who's babyface? Ooh, who watches Finn or Damien? Damien is gonna walk in as babyface because heel Finn Balor has been. Eh, Heel Finn Balor is just so much better than Babyface Balor. I'm sorry. When he had his run in NXT as uh, heel, oh, it was money. It was straight money. Oh, it was so good. It was oh. so good. But, I just need to see. I'm The only thing I I, the, I know we're kind of getting off topic when it comes yeah. to the card, but we did our predictions. <laughs> uh, but the only thing with Finn is, is just every single week, and I've been saying this on my stream, I've been complaining about it weekly. Right. Like Finn just continuously has been looking like a jobber. You know, right. tagging with JD McDonough, losing these ra- like losing match after match after match, man. Like these tag matches, these these main events against Drew, like and I get like, oh, it's Drew's obviously not gonna lose right before his title shot, but like I mean, you know, people lose right before a title shot all the time when right. it comes to like interference, right? Right. Like I just if if we're gonna make Finn like build him up, then let him win a couple matches once in a while. You know yeah. What I mean? Let him let Finn do his thing. Let him win a few matches. Let him get over, and then put that put plant the seed to the point where he is feuding with Damian and wants that title. Or I feel like Damian would be like, "Hey, Finn, here's your world title shot. Here you go." But I feel like they're gonna just do some kind of break up or something along those lines. But you know, we ranted enough. We ranted. We talked about we the card enough. You know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Subscribe your brand new to my channel. Subscribe your brand new to Trey's channel. I'll link yes, all sir. his socials in the description box down below. I'm linking my socials in the description box down below. With that being said, I'll catch y'all in another video. I'm out. Wee's out. Wee's out.